Hi everybody, welcome back from a nasty Thanksgiving. Well, maybe the Thanksgiving weekend was good for you, I don't know. Anyway, with Kent, I'm Jay. Let's start the clock. Big win for the Cardinals, I guess. Um, <laughs> season's still alive for those Cardinals believers. Uh, big play by Honey Badger, he just kind of took what he wanted. And Blaine Gabbert didn't play horribly. What was your initial takeaway from this thing? Kind of all that. Um, probably the most impressive win they had all season. They beat a good team, a yeah. team that won four straight, leading its division. Move the ball at, when they had to against a, a very good defense and shut down a running game led by Leonard Fournette. So good, good game all the way around. Highly entertaining to see Calais Campbell score a touchdown as well for Jacksonville, and yet the home fans were rewarded later by watching the Cardinals actually win a game off the foot of a 57-year-old? Oh no, 57-yarder by a 42-year-old Phil Dawson. Terrific. Um, moving on, the Cardinals take on the Rams. Early line has the Cardinals installed as a seven-point underdog. What's your feeling on the Rams? I mean, Jared Goff, these guys, they're playing out of their minds. They beat New Orleans. Are they for real now? I'm a believer. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it, it took me a while to come around yeah. to the, the Rams, but they've always had that defense. They're playing better under Wade Phillips now, and, and Sean McVay's done wonders with that offense. And, Blitz the Cardinals 33 to nothing in London. Not that that was a huge accomplishment right. at, the, at the time, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a believer. You beat the Saints, you're a contender. Todd Gurley is proving that he is among those top two or three elite running backs in the league, and the Cardinals will need to devise some kind of game plan to chase him. Um, early prediction, do you think they hang with him, or is this a blowout? I do. I think they hang with him because they'll want to show something after being blown out. Mm -hmm. I think they're playing better. They found a style offensively that works for them. It'll all come down to defense. Can they tackle? Can they defend the deep ball? Can they limit Todd Gurley? Yeah, good point. Tackling, of course, a big part of this. Let's tackle the rest of the shot clock. That's it. That's all the time we have for Kent. I'm Jay. Have a good day.